Hi, my name is Moss here, and I'm here to show you guys how to configure a web server consumer connection using HTTPS certificates. I'm going to talk about how to download the certificates, how to apply it, and a little bit about the common error messages you're going to see when something goes wrong. The easiest way to download the certificates is using a um, regular internet browser such as Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox. Uh, two things that you're gonna have to pay extra attention on it is when you have certificate chains or in other words when you have lots of certificates on your main certificate path and the certificate format. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm talking about in a bit. Okay, so how to download the certificate. I'm using here Mozilla Firefox as an example because it's easier, but you can, the procedure to use Google Chrome or Internet Explorer uh, is pretty much the same. Um, here on the URL, you're gonna have this padlock symbol here. Just click on it, go to more information. It's gonna open uh, a new window, ex show the certificate, and you're gonna see all the certificates here. Okay. So basically, what I'm what I was talking about certificate chains. You're gonna see that you have my support inform .com certificate here, and then you have a root authority certificate. This is an example, a simple example of a certificate chain. For Power Center, it's gonna be it's gonna be necessary to download all the certificates listed here on the certificate chain. To do that, you're gonna need to export the certificate. And here, you're gonna have uh, the option to choose the format. The format that Power Center uses is to, is this one, the PEM certificate. Just save it. And we're gonna apply this on Power Center later on. So basically, you're gonna have to export the mysupportinformatica.com certificate, and you're gonna have to export also this GoDaddy root certificates. Okay, so I already downloaded the certificates, and now I need to apply them. To apply the certificates, I'm going to have to add it on a particular file. This file is located under Info Home, uh, or in other words, the installation folder under server slash bin. Okay, um, to add the file here, we're going to have to add it. So I'll just open it with the VI. Um, as you're gonna see by the fold, the file gonna have a lot of certificates. Most of them are root certificates that are commonly used on the, over the internet. But on our particular case, you're gonna need to import all the three certificates I showed earlier. So I'm gonna move back, move down to the end of the file. I'm gonna add. Uh, some sort of comment here and I'm I'm going to start adding the certificates here this is one of them I'm just copying and pasting it here and I'm going to repeat these for all the certificates I just downloaded this is another one And another one. I'm gonna save the file and that's all we need to do right now. What I have here is our already now workflow manager and I'm gonna just show you guys where you need to configure the connection. 
this is a web service consumer, so it's an application connection. We just need to add a new one here or edit one of them. So I'm going to add a new one. Just leave the name as you need. User endpoint location. You're gonna need to put the HTTPS um, location you have for your for your own web services. One thing that you can do here is you can actually uh, select the file that you're gonna use for this connection. Um, I just showed you guys how to add the certificates to the default location, but you can have uh, a specific file for each of your connections. It's just a matter of configuring the path, the file path here. After configuring the, after creating the connection actually, uh, I can just add it here to my um, to my transformation. I'll just select it. And that's pretty much it. That's everything you need to do to configure the connection using an SSL certificate. The most common error message you're going to see if something goes wrong is this one. It basically states that something is wrong with your SSL certificate. Okay. So what what you are gonna do if you face this kind of error message? Either um, claiming that an unknown SSL protocol is in use or there's no reason at all for the error. Uh, double check the, f the format of the file, the file location, the CA bando.crt file, and also ensure that you have downloaded all the files, all sorry, all the certificates that your HTTPS website uses. That's it for today. This is a pretty simple um, procedure. Um, please, if you have any feedback, just let us know. Here you have the, our contact. Thank you very much.